Uh, just to recap, we, we spoke uh, here a couple of weeks back, mm -hmm. and you were saying you thought that we were in for, for a pretty big correction at the time. Yeah. The, the previous time we spoke was uh, July 31st, and I said watch out for two key dates, which was the 7th of August and the 18th. And obviously from the 18th we saw uh, the, the, the Black Monday. So the reason is, a lot of people are asking, was this a technical or a fundamental issue that actually caused this? In my view, it's neither. It's actually a cyclical point of view. So there are very key time cycles uh, that are in play right now. And as I said, that the August-September period is going to be quite a, a tough challenge for, for a lot of traders and investors. And I still think that there's some really big hurdles ahead. Okay. And so, so just drawing up the first chart, you've, you've brought us a, a couple of different charts with regards to the Dow Jones. So, sure. so let's just take them from an end and just, and just talk a little bit about, starting with this, the monthly chart that we're looking at. That's first. right, yeah. yeah. So this is showing us uh, exactly where we are right now. And the shady part actually shows you there's a very long-term cycle in play. In fact, this cycle is an 83-year cycle, so we're not going to see this one again in our lifetime. So what it's suggesting is that there is going to be some uh, very strong increased volatility in play right now, which is exactly what we're experiencing. But the question is, what's going to happen? Because we're actually just towards the, the middle part of the cycle right now. We've seen a high. We've seen, obviously, new highs in the markets, and, and people have been very bullish on this market. My view is I think we're going to get some further volatility kicking in, and I'll talk about the key dates there as well. Mm -hmm. But this cycle actually goes back to 1928. We saw a staggering bull run, and then of course we saw the, the start of the Great Depression. So I'm not saying that we're in the midst of the Great Depression. What I'm saying is that cycle has actually kicked in, and we've just got to expect the unexpected, and, and that's what I'm really pointing out right now. Okay, and then and you, you see that further on your second chart then? Exactly. Yes, and it shows us basically what actually happened um, from the 1928 period. It actually takes us um, to the main high, and as you can see, for a number of years, the market just completely collapsed. Now, of course, I'm hoping that this is not the scenario that's going to repeat right now, but as I said, the, the, the key thing that I really want to point out is that the cycle that we're in right now is very unusual, and there are multitudes of cycle all um, creating themselves in this vacuum in this month of September. And so on the midterm basis, what's really interesting is that we've got these very shorter term cycles kicking in as well. And since 2014, every time we've entered that short-term vacuum, the market's declined. And we're actually approaching another one. We're just a few weeks away, a few, I'd say about two weeks away from that one. Which you show on your next chart, is that correct? Yes. The next turn dates. So, so what are some of the key dates we should be looking at? What are some of the crucial levels? So the, the two key dates what I'm watching out for right now is the 14th of September and also the 17th. Interestingly, the 17th is obviously the, the Federal Reserve meeting as well. So interest rates are going to have a play there as well. But what you'll notice in the, in the charts right now, that every time we've entered the shaded area, at the beginning of that shady part, we've seen an increase in volatility. And in every case so far on the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, we've seen a move to the downside. So as you can see, we're just about approaching the next area, and that date is the 17th. But the cycle actually starts on the 14th, so watch out on the 14th and watch out on the 17th. How do you play it? That's really an interesting yeah. question people are going to ask. The way I look at it is watch those two key dates. If the market breaks to the upside, then my view is it's going to rally quite sharply. And if it takes at the low of the day, then it's going to continue to decline. My preference is actually I want to see a rally. And the reason is from a technical perspective, um, where we're expecting to move towards the upside. And then that takes us into the next cycle, which is really the key one. It's the 23rd of September. And that window lasts for a whole month until 23rd of October. And that's what I'm really getting worried, because my expectations are further downside. And as I said before, that if you're an investor, take the money that you've got off the table, maybe it's a time to step aside and buy in when we reach key levels. Okay, so 14th, 17th, and then from the 24th of September, 23rd of September, 23rd of September and a full month. For a full forward. month, yeah. So okay. these are key dates that we've got to watch out for. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about, um, you, you have some high-low cycles as yes. well? Yes. Yeah. And so what that tells us is, again, we, we measure time, and basically it's telling us that what cycle are we in right now. This chart that we're looking at right now gives us the actual key levels. What you're seeing is the horizontal lines has actually nothing to do with support and resistance. Those are all time baselines. And this is again going all the way back to 1987. You can see in every single major case, it's reacted off these lines. So the prices that we're looking at for the Dow Jones to find support is 14,300. And get this, below that we have 11,000. So this is some very serious moves that we've got um, ahead of us. Now on the cycles charts, yep. what we're actually looking at is a high-low cycle. And that, the, the, the last date that I gave on, on, in the August period, that actually kicked in as a high point. I don't see any buying opportunities 
until November. So what you can see right now is that we've actually um, crossed through all of these cycles. We've seen a, a low point where we would have bought, we've seen a high point where we would have sold. And the most recent one, of course, has been the high point. So the next time that we actually see the cycle kicking in again is November. It comes in November 25th. So it just goes to show that within this larger degree cycle and the short term cycles, again, any rallies, I'm going to keep saying this, any rallies that we see, my suggestions are as a trader, just look to sell the rallies because you're going to see the play towards the downside.